Welcome to Freshwater Swimming Holes in Australia. I'm Brad Neal and this is the Yarra River at Laughing Waters. What I do like about this spot is the sense of isolation. Like you do get a feeling, even though you're quite close to Melbourne, that you're completely surrounded by a bush. Out on the rocks in the middle of the river you can get a panorama of why this is a popular swimming spot. You can see downstream, large pool, uh, can get quite deep. Some rapids to play in immediately downstream of the large pool, which blocks the flow of water. Then turning around here, you've got the laughing waters themselves, some little rapids that you can sit in, the fast moving water, and then immediately upstream, you've got another pool you can swim in as well. You can see that one swirling around. Looks like it's a bit stagnant in the corner but otherwise pretty nice. You can see here from the river there's a bit of a bed, there's a bit of a bank to sit on but not much space so it's probably just as well that there aren't that many uh, car spaces along the road on the way in. It's quite easy to get into the water here. You've got uh, silty sand under your feet and the visibility today not too bad about half a metre or so which is pretty good for the Yarra. These are the so-called laughing waters. Let's try them out. How about this? I say, I say, I say, why did the chicken cross the river? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the river? To deposit his money in the other bank. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful, you're a great audience. Here's another one for you. Is the water quality always good enough to swim safely in the Yarra River? <laughs> Actually, that one's no joke. Make sure you check out my website, www.vicswimmingholes.com where I've got a link to the EPA website that tells you the water quality in the river as well as a forecast for the next day and whether it's suitable for swimming. And after you swim you can just perch yourself up on a rock under the trees, have a cold drink and relax. Laughing Waters is quite hard to get to. This is your first turn off Mount Pleasant Road. It's not signposted. This is your second turn where you'll need to turn left. I think the signs are actually pointing in a different direction for Caitlin's retreat, so just ignore that. This is the third turn where you need to veer to the right. When you get to Caitlin's retreat, you're at the end of the road uh, and you'll see signs there, no parking beyond this point. Uh, I've been up there, it's really difficult to turn around, so don't, don't head up there. You'll see on one side of the road there are no standing signs along the whole on the whole way, all you need to do is come up to Caitlin's Retreat, do a U-turn and you can park on the left hand side. Obviously the parking is quite limited, so you run the risk that uh, there might not be any parking available if you come here on a weekend on a hot day. From Caitlin's Retreat, all you need to do is walk up the road. It's, a, uh, it's about a couple of hundred metres, not very far at all. Once you've reached the big stone gates, just walk around either side of them going through and you'll see here there's a track down to your right immediately after going through the gates and you follow this down and around to the left towards the river. This is the last bit of the track down to the river, a few tree roots to negotiate, overhanging branches and then you'll emerge out into laughing waters. These are the last few steps that you have to negotiate on your way down, so don't try and lug too much. We'll get someone to help you. And down onto the beach here.